Excuse me, just a moment. Gilbert's late. Uh, As... Yeah, uh, hello. Yeah, who's that uh, speaking? James Whale, who's that? Uh, it's me here, Michael Nick? Phillip, yes, of the Stones. <laughs> it is, James, it is. Listen. It's not. It is. It's, it's have Gilbert. You got a speech then. impediment. No, I haven't. I, haven't. I never learned how to ride one. Are you. <laughs> now, listen. Impediment. Yes, I'm impediment. sure I've been there. But listen, if you see Gilbert, tell him he owes me a tenner. Gotta go. Bye. Bye. Oh, uh, luck. I think he thought he was going to catch me uh, there and cut uh, me off. Oi. Oi. Where have you been? No. Who was that on the phone? Well, he said he was Mick Jagger, but I don't believe oh, a word of it. not again. In fact, He's you some kind look of... remarkably like Mick Jagger. No, I don't. That must have been some kind of crank, I think. Hey, you ladies do and look gentlemen, like Mick Jagger. James Wilde. Let's have a round of applause. Here he is. Yes. As if by magic. As if by magic. Thank you. Hey. Yeah, James, yeah. James, welcome back to Tyne Tees, mate. Thank you very much indeed, Gilbert. Familiar stomping ground for you here, isn't yes, it? Yes, I think I did my first bit of television on Tyne Tees. And it not... was... Uh, you want to ask me what it was? Yeah, go on. Ask me what it was. <laughs> what was it, James? Oh, I'm glad you asked me that, Gilbert. <laughs> Believe it or not, it yeah. was the epilogue. Very suitable for you, I think. I very thought suitable. So. Very I suitable. thought so. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. you started off as a late-night DJ on radio because you had a late-night yes, voice. because I... Yeah. What is a late night voice, James? It's a bit it like you calm? with diction, really. Diction? Yeah. Don't throw words like that at me <laughs> without plugging them in first. Now then. Sorry, no, I meant to. Uh, yeah, go on. No misses, don't sit her. Yes. Oh, yes, yes. No don'ts. Now, you started. What are you doing with the ends of your fingers? <laughs> oh, that is something I can't really go into at no, this no, stage. I suppose not, no. Basically, I cover the South East. I wonder if you're interested. Oh, shut up. Sorry about that. Yes, thank you. You started your, uh, your controversial phone in shows on radio. Now, now, how did it come about? On Metro, in, here in Newcastle, yes. Um, it, it came about because I get very bored, Gilbert, and I was sitting there saying, and, uh, fantastic, another record coming from Herb Albert and the T.U. Out of Brass. It's 20 minutes to 11, and you get a bit fed up, don't you? So, so I said, uh, do you mind if I take some phone calls to the boss? And he said, oh, no, I don't care what you do. He actually said, no, give him mind what you do, man. Because I, I said you... He said, nobody listens at that time of night. So you got into it from there. You, yeah. you are pretty rude to some of the no, panels no, there. No, 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 That's no, a rumour. No. Now, ever, uh, you know, are no, you afraid no, no, that no, someone's no. going to give you a slap one day, mate? Or no, no. <laughs> Did you see that film, Talk Radio? Yeah, yeah. What a film. Yeah. But it was unfortunate, really, wasn't it? Because the guy who did the show was made out to be such a prat. He wasn't, though, because was, his heart was in the right he place. He was a nice guy, like he, me. Yeah. Well, Just because maybe... somebody's going on like you are at the moment, not letting me get a word in edgeways. <laughs> You've got to be careful, James. You, know, you need got... a button, that's all. <laughs> yes, that's true. But uh, you, you had an MP raise a question in the Commons about Several, show. several, yeah. Several? In the, well, in the early days, MPs, you, you know what MPs are like. MPs forget that they are there to do our bidding. They kind of think that they're, kind of, you know, they're running the show when, in fact, they're the servants of all of us. And I think perhaps we forget from time to time. I think we do. I was just having a little pick. I was having a little pick there. Um, there's nothing. Have you noticed I've people in that. cars all the time <laughs> shoveling it out of their noses? I know. Don't you ever do that? Don't you ever get the old JCB no, 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 out no, there? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So, uh, what we, oh, yeah, about the MP. So, one of them asked that. Is this sort of thing really necessary? Should people be allowed to say, uneducated people, people who aren't journalists, <laughs> should they be allowed to make comment on the news and people like us? And of course they should. Is it patronising or what, that? I think it might be slightly yeah. patronising. MPs are a bit like that because they forget, you know, they get into that, that sort of, the houses of thingy well, bob and that's it. Bring back Harold Wilson, that's what I say. You did now, that very well. Oh, I certainly did. Yeah. In fact, it sounds like Parkinson sometimes, but I won't do Parkinson. <laughs> uh, now, in fact, why do people phone in to be abused <clears> by you? Well, I don't know about me, because I, I, I don't abuse people, as I said before. The little but porky there, little porky. If you've ever heard, <laughs> if you've ever heard these, uh, these phone-in programmes on, on radio now, uh, BBC has one kind of radio where it's, uh, hello, you're listening to BBC Radio Local, and uh, today we have our resident expert, and we're talking yeah. about pig farming, and if you're interested in pig farming, <laughs> then phone in yeah. and we'll talk about it. Or you get onto the ILR stations and they go, hi, fantastic, well, we're going to take a couple of phone calls, oh, nobody's on the line, never mind. We're gonna... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but people uh, love to phone in, so... It is funny, you see, if somebody phones in and say, can I, oh, I've got two seconds? Yeah, you can say this, you sure. Can. All right. Yeah. Um, so if, if you're sitting and listening to this on the radio or watching my show on the TV and somebody phones in and they say, um, uh, hello, Jim. <laughs> they say, yep. 
Uh, I, I wanted to talk about... What do you want to talk about? <laughs> well, let me get it out and I'll say, but for God's sake, we haven't got time to hang around with you. Off. <laughs> yeah, that's where I thought that, that film was so good, cos uh, old Bo Gossi in there, a yeah. vicious character, played and it beautifully. Comes on and yeah, she says, I know. I just want to talk to you, Gilbert. I just yeah. want to tell you how funky you are. Yeah. You're going to let this go on longer, aren't you? Yes. You're going to say, tell me more. <laughs> yeah, of course you are. Yeah. Massaging your ego. What? Yes. Oh, oh yeah, well, yeah, I spell yeah. it. It's yeah. a Latin word meaning anorak. <laughs> I think something like that. Your altar anorak or something. Altar anorak. Yeah. Alter, oh, get it altered yeah, if you yeah, must. Yeah. Can't go rallying in that, can you? There's a lot of anoraks around, aren't there? There is. Have you yeah. noticed? They're a bit weird, yeah. a bit cranky. Yeah. But it uh, doesn't mean everyone yeah. who wears an anorak is absolutely cranky. I think I'm going into one now. Just to think I'm going to do it. Ching. Thanks very much. Well, you thank it, you very it? much, James Wyle. Thanks for coming on the show, mate. We'll speak later. Yeah. There he is. Joy stay with us, mate. Stay with us. Thank you, Gilbert. Nice, mate. Thank you. Well, there you go. James Well there, James Well. Um, now, uh, my final guest tonight, who's going to come through the portals, is uh, an obituarist. And please give him a nice, warm welcome for Hugh Montgomery Massingbird. Thank you. <laughs> Hugh. Lovely. Thank you very much indeed. Ah, uh, excellent. James knew exactly when to move there. I think you've done this before, haven't you, yeah, James? Yeah, was it? There's a Terry Wogan move. It was a beautiful shift yeah. there. We'll see it again in slow motion. Do you want to no. do it again? <laughs> no, no, we're all right, mate. We're all right. <laughs> Hugh, thanks, thanks for coming on the show. Um, what makes a good obituarist? I think somebody with a sense of humour, because uh, I, I, I think the essential thing... <laughs> Easy, we're having some... Yes, get on with it. Yes, yeah, shut up. Sorry about that. <laughs> I lost myself there. Well, I think, I mean, at a good memorial service or a funeral, the address should make you laugh, because laughter is, is close to what the person was. Well, uh, you sound like talking like Peter Sellers, who, who made them play in the mood at his funeral, which was a good idea, wasn't I think it? it's a very good thing, because <laughs> I, I, I think death is hedged around with a terrible lot of hypocrisy, and, and uh, it, you, you should remember the people as they really were and, and laugh about them, because laughter is close to affection. It certainly is. Uh, it's a big in that old death business. I don't have to worry about it, because I'm in immoral, <laughs> aren't I? Immortal, <laughs> or, something, or something like that. Um, <laughs> the obituary column uh, used to be a back page job, but it's fairly big news now, yes? Well, I, I think it's because all the people who've been legends in, in, in the 20th century seem to be dying at the same time. I Did mean, hardly a day goes by without somebody well, interesting it's, dying. It's funny, actually, Hugh, how they all die in alphabetical order, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> really? Um, <laughs> oh, in your own time, in your own time. Oh, yes. no wonder they come in free. Anyway, now, listen. No. No. Now, people always want to know what people are going to, you know, what people are going to have said about them when they're dead and when they're gone. What do you think you'd say about me? Well, it'd be a case of the late Gilbert rather than Gilbert's late, but it, it would be... Oh, OK. But, I mean, My but, name's Ben Elton. But, but you say you're a... <laughs> I, I have prepared something, but you say you're a mortal, but, I mean, how you're... I well, think we'd say something like uh, Gilbert the alien, who has died aged some 50 million years. That's right, that's correct. Represented what could be described as the logical conclusion in the world of television <laughs> personalities <laughs> and chat show hosts. Oh, dear. Uh, this extraordinary green creature with a crest like a cockatoo, a head pierced by a dog bone, porcine... <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, porcine snout, uh, lips strangely reminiscent of Mr Ringo Starr, <laughs> and an unfortunate tendency to spit. <laughs> uh, uh, went on to become a star in his talk show, Gilbert's Late. <laughs> uh, Gilbert's rise to cult status seemed entirely natural and fitting, following the shows okay. fronted by such allegedly humanoid performers as Wogan, Aspel and Jonathan Ross. Uh -huh. To many, his charm and humour considerably exceeded his predecessors. He was uh -huh. unmarried. <laughs> <laughs> no, nice one. Thanks for that. Nice one. You're a genius at that. What a genius. Ah. Yeah. Oh. I, I understand you write obituaries before people die. Is that a bit well, goodish? Well, you try to. Uh, <laughs> I, I think well, it's better to be prepared, but I think you write a better obituary if you have to do it very quickly, because then, then you don't have time to, um, you, you, to, to you, overwrite. I think the thing is, it, it's what you remember um, ab about somebody, and, and you, you should capture their essence. You don't write about their death, you write about their life. No, actually, I thought the one you did on Kenneth Williams was excellent, actually. That's, I don't know how much time you had to do that or whatever, but well, anyway. Have you, have, you, have you prepared James Wiles yet? Uh, no, not yet, no, but I, I, I get some useful material. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, listen, tell me, do you ever tell people... I mean, I'm thinking of a oh. few people who would really get quite peeved if they knew you'd already written their, um, obituary. Do you ever tell them beforehand? No, I, I think some people try, uh, try, to, try to get a copy of it. Uh, I mean... Yeah. <laughs> it's I mean, all right, don't worry about it. I mean, you'll read the newspaper. Yeah, go on. Yeah, yeah. sure, I'm just having a look at it. Oh, Tottenham one, I see. <laughs> <laughs> 
Gilzine's found his form again. Upset. We're yeah, on stage together. It's all right. It's okay. Yeah. I never knew he was that tall. <laughs> yeah. They can't oh, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, you, you can't label the dead. That's, that's one advantage. But at the same time, I mean... You can label them. Yes. You can't label them. Yes, uh, no, sorry. You can label the living, so you, you mustn't let them see their obituary while they're alive. Now, a, a, a bit... I've got to put that page Sorry, can I just... Uh, no, 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 okay, no back yeah. off, back off, James, yeah, back right. off. <laughs> you'll bang out of order, pal. <laughs> <laughs> there will be an altercation, there will be an off. There's going to be an off, Colonel, there's going, going to be an off. Tweak him. Tweak, Anyway, now, <laughs> shut up, you lot, shut up. <laughs> a bitterest to have been known to dabble in the euphemism, right? I mean, what's the kind of thing they all, all say to describe a real old toe rag, very briefly? Well, he, he, he didn't suffer fools gladly, it means he was a pretty firm. Bastard, right? Well, <laughs> Hugh, thanks very much for coming on the show. Oh, Cheers, Hugh Montgomery Massingbird. Thank you. Yeah, lovely. Thanks very much indeed, chaps. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to thank my guests, uh, namely the band, River City People, there. Well, good luck with the single. And I think Siobhan has got an absolutely beautiful voice, don't you? You better go out and buy that, I think, because it's rather splendid. I'd like to thank Hugh Montgomery, Massingbird, James Wilde, Glenn McCrory. Good luck when you hammer Mike Tyson into the canvas there. We'll see you next week. I'm Gilbert. Bye! <laughs>